Hello everyone. Today we are going to start Open Office presentation software. Present presentation software is basically meant for a live audience who is going to listen uh, to your presentation, who might be sitting in front of you or might be online listening to you live. So the best and most important thing here is that it should be attractive and interesting, and everyone uh, should be involved in it. Um, if your presentation is not attractive, everyone will get bored and it will be hence a useless activity that you have done. So what you have to do is that you have to keep in mind that it should be interesting and informative and interactive as well. Keeping in mind the audiences that you have, you will work on it. For example, if it is for uh, your teachers or faculty panel, uh, you have to be um, very specific to them and if you have to develop it only for the students or for your official work the uh, format will be different so it will be made accordingly the content will be made accordingly okay so let's uh, launch this presentation application this is the uh, presentation wizard um, uh, you can create an empty presentation like this uh, and you can create, uh, 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 you can open an existing presentation or you can uh, choose from a template. But we will uh, choose this create button to let's see how this uh, create uh, button will work. And we will uh, and simply do all the changes. If we directly create it, so it will uh, create the simple presentation and then we have to do all the changes later on. But uh, we will press next and we will see what it shows okay so the second step here it, uh, it is giving me is to choose a slide design that is choose a presentation background so uh, right now i have an empty background a white background but i can select from this these things so you just scroll down here so it will be loaded here you see it is very slow okay so i have chosen this slide design from this uh, wizard and it has given me this selection of slide design in the very beginning so i will not uh, change this output medium uh, leave it for now this is, uh, you can see this is a preview screen and you can see this layout has been chosen so i will again press next okay so uh, this is the slide transition uh, transition is the actually the tab for um, it means that the slide will move from how the slide will move from one slide to the other slide how will it move from this one to this uh, uh, like will it come from left to right or will it come from up and down so this is the uh, uh, effect that we can apply to it and this is the preview screen you see uh, keep an eye here I will change the effect and you will see uh, it over here so the slide will wipe out from down uh, to up or you can uh, wheel it clockwise or you can move it again so you can change the speed as well from slow medium to fast so if you make it slow so the audience may get bored you see the slide will be transitioned very slow so it uh, from this wizard it will be applied to all the slides uh, okay, I will not choose this one um, because it sometimes gets irritating. So choose the one that you feel is not uh, disturbing you. Okay, this is the default timing. You can change the uh, duration of it as well, but uh, let's leave it for now and press create. Okay, so this is the main uh, screen of your uh, presentation software this is the toolbar the same toolbar that you have seen uh, in open office writer with some additions because it is a presentation software so uh, some of the things will be changed so the first thing that i will do is that i will save this presentation so i will save it as um, presentation now you can uh, write any name of it just because of the uh, power shortages uh, and, and to protect in case of any crashes or power breakdowns the first thing that you will do is that you will save it first and then you will keep on pressing ctrl s for any, any change that you have done to your work 
okay so um, we have done the slide design so this is the slide design that we have changed uh, and uh, this is the toolbar so uh, if you use any software always keep in your mind that the toolbar will be this uh, more or less the same all the tools will be in this so this is the new slide option uh, the open thing the edit file pdf uh, spelling check etc and uh, here is the main presentation uh, tools that you are going to use so this is the slide bar so the plus shows that you can add a new slide you see you can add a new slide and you can change the slide layout so this is the slide layout so slide layout is given in this sidebar as well and this is the slide design so you can change the slide design see many slides uh, designs can be loaded from here you can load it from here you can load uh, the presentation backgrounds so you can choose any one from here okay, because I've already chosen it so I will not uh, select it okay so and then the slideshow okay so uh, these are the shortcuts to the same things uh, you can s these are the shortcuts to the same things uh, the properties the master pages I will work on we will work on master pages in this uh, tutorial uh, you can add animation you can change the slide transition you see the slide transition that we have done earlier from here you can apply the slide transition on uh, the uh, individual slides as well styles and formatting can be done and gallery from where from where you can select the pictures okay so uh, let's see uh, the uh, uh, things one by one and this is showing uh, this tab is showing you the layout of your uh, slides so you can change the layout of your slides so this is a, this will insert a blank slide you see this is a blank slide this will add a title slide to your um, presentation if you want to add a title and a content if you want to add title and two contents or give if you want to give a comparison so you will select this one if you want to add only the title you will select this one this is also for this is for the text you want to add in the center and like that so depending upon how you want to work you can change your own layout so let's select a, um, a topic on which we are going to work and create this uh, presentation okay so I'm going to uh, make a presentation on water crisis in Pakistan so here you can write your name I will mm, write my name that is presented presented by Dr. Sheen so you can uh, select the text and as you see you were writing the text so this text bar automatically appeared over here so you can change it you can make the changes to this text as well so you have you are familiar with this toolbar so you can change it uh, I want to change the um, color of the text or I want if I want if I, if I, the color of the text pink and I want to make it right aligned or see okay the pink is very light so I can change it again okay I will make it green uh, so uh, you can do the changes to these things and then you you want to add another slide so uh, I will add another slide by pressing this slide icon plus slide or you can simply click on it and you can add a new slide so right click on it and you will add a new slide here okay so in the next slide I want to add some content for example the content that I am going to work is reasons of crisis okay the uh, presentation software gives you the flexibility that um, uh, you can uh, deliver your content to the audiences in short form you don't have to write long paragraphs because it will make your audiences very uh, bored and they will lose interest in your presentation so keep your works very small um, keep your work in points so I will write down in the points and then I will explain it in the words then so the reasons will be natural 
reasons you see i am not going to write long sentences and i am go only going to mention and list the reasons and the second reason might be for example mismanagement uh, and uh, uh, then i will uh, okay i can delete a slide as well if i don't see that it's according to me so i can delete it okay so i want to add a new slide so i can add a new slide from this option insert slide as well so okay so then the third slide that i want to add is ways to reduce crisis c r i s s okay so some of the ways to reduce crisis are you can add sentences as well but not very long some of the ways to reduce water crisis or okay so i want to make it a second bullet so it will be demoted here ha huh, by building b u i l d i n g building of dams and second maybe conservation of water and then saving water using less water than required sector so there might be many reasons okay so i uh, also want wanted to add a picture of over here so one way is that i simply Uh, copy some the picture from some place and I uh, paste it over here. You see, this has taken the whole space, so I have to adjust it. So this doesn't look nice. That I I can place it over here, I can place it over here, I can move it over here, but this doesn't look nice. So uh, I should why I should uh, uh, stick to this layout. I should why not select a layout which includes. a picture as well so i will select this layout see this in this layout this picture will be automatically adjusted to uh, the frame but another good way is that uh, you delete this picture and if you uh, you select this layout and the best way is that you insert a picture with this uh, this you can insert a table here you can insert a chart here you can insert any movie or a picture here so using this tab i can insert a picture so insert a picture i have already downloaded this picture from internet so it will be automatically fixed here you see this is a very good way to insert a picture now this is a balanced view of your slide that you can add picture side by side with your work and um, uh, then you can uh, let's explore the other options uh, so we have added the picture and okay i want to add i want to make my work more attractive so um that i want to uh, make sure that these points come in uh, animated uh, when i press enter then these appear so i will add some movement to these uh, things these this text so i will select this animation tab and i will i want to add animation to this point uh, you see add and it will appear okay and i want i want to add some more animations what happens to it that emphasis will be on that is when it when it will appear it will uh, it might change its um, it might flicker or sorry it might glow with color see this is the preview and on exiting uh, what will happen to it uh, it will be checkerboard okay you see i have changed only the first one so okay so i have only added two of these uh, emphasis uh, emphasis it was i added the flicker okay so you can move this because you want that before exiting this flicker should be um, before it so you can change its position by this arrow or you can simply drag it um, um, the better way is you should use this arrow okay so this is moved to this part okay you can play the animation with this tab so let's play it 
okay it was because just it was very fast so you were you couldn't you were not able to notice it okay let me fix it so it is on click effect will appear on click and this effect will appear on uh, uh, again on click and this will appear on click and I can change the speed from very fast to medium to see the effect okay so let's play it okay let me play the slideshow okay this is the slide transition you see the first point is not here because I have applied animation on it so on click it appeared and on click it will uh, give uh, the motion of a flicker you see and then on click it will be exited to the next slide this was a flicker motion okay so and this was exited so this was applied to the uh, to the um, to the slide to the whole slide and the, the animation was applied to the whole slide uh, to the text of the slide so it was not applied to this slide because you see if I play the slideshow it will be there will be only transition scene there is uh, I have not applied animation on this so it will not work over here and on this slide the animation was there so the first thing will appear on click you see it appeared on click very fastly because I have not changed uh, the first uh, the speed of the first animation then on the second it, it will uh, flicker this one will flicker and then and again on click everything will move and then it will be finished okay so this way uh, you can add various animations so the best way is that you select it and you add animation uh, you can add animation on uh, individual things or you can add animation to all of these uh, uh, in one go as well okay so I random bars oh, okay so animation cannot be applied again and again so it will make you confused so you uh, should try it on the uh, next slide so if I apply it again over here so it will be mixed so uh, you should apply it on the next slide okay so this is for now in the next uh, tutorial i will explain the usage of uh, master slides and uh, how you can retain the same uh, procedure with uh, the same text how you can make the layout of your uh, layout of your work the same for all the slides